Supplements are steroids. Supplements are not steroids. They are easy tools to help lifters reach their goals. But which ones should you use for maximum growth? First is pre-workout. You got your stem and non-stem pre-workout. The difference is that stem has caffeine and non-stem does not. I could be wrong, but stem has beta alanine in it, which is the stuff that makes you really fucking itchy, but non-stem doesn't. It doesn't matter which one you take, its purpose is to boost your energy for your workout and give you better pumps. Had a long time watching those fucking kids paint the walls with spaghetti noodles, and now it's time to go to the gym and you're tired, take some pre, and you're ready to lift so you can throw those fuckers. I'm kidding, of course. Pre's you should take, especially for beginners, from my recommendation, is Bucked Up, Woke AF, Rise Godzilla. People say Gorilla Mode is good, but I think it just tastes like butt cheeks. Pre's you should probably avoid, just because it's high stimulus, is Motherbucker. Dude, 400 milligrams of caffeine? What the fuck? I took like half a scoop of that shit, I almost had a heart attack because I was spazzing out. With Pre's, start with half a scoop to a scoop. Do not be like me, and for my first time taking pre-workout, I took two scoops of Woke AF, and I was spazzing out for literally six hours. I could literally feel color and see sound. I swear, do not do it. Now, as you take pre and start to take two scoops consistently and feel nothing, guess what? Now you're a drug addict. No, just take a break from pre-workout for a week or two, because that means your body is used to it, and having to take two to three hundred milligrams of more caffeine just so you can operate is not okay. Next is creatine. As my mom likes to call it, crack. Get a straw and sniff that shit down before every workout and bro, your canes will skyrocket. You'll get so many bitches. Uh, yeah, don't do that. For any parent watching this, creatine is natural and can be found in many food like steak, red meat, and it increases your ability to hold water. That's why a lot of people take creatine when they're bulking so they can put on a little extra mass. But at the end, it's just holding more water weight. And remember, the heavier you are, the more weight you can pull, and the more women will run away from you. Also with creatine, it'll make you shit more sometimes. I don't know why, but it just does. Next up is fish oil. This varies from person to person, but if you have bad joints, like, probably should try fish oil. It's just a pill that makes your pee pee shrink a few sizes, but it will help with joint health and actually helps your brain and eye health also. Wish I knew that 10 years ago because maybe my eyesight wouldn't be completely dog shit. However, I don't take it because it gives me bad fish breath. And also, it makes me shit a lot. Once that started, I decided maybe it's not the best idea for me to take this. I don't feel like shitting my brains out 5 times a day. So my joints can just go fuck themselves. That's all the supplements I take for the gym. I know a lot of people do more. But I find that that's all I need to look my best and help with gains. I'm very aware of what I put in my body first. Because if you're not careful, yeah, not might be steroids, but it can still mess your body up if you're not careful and or take way too much of something. If you take three scoops of pre-workout, may God have mercy on your soul. Let me know what you guys think, and if I missed anything, and if you guys got something that you would recommend, let me know in the comments. See y'all next time. Keep fucking grinding.